forests play a very important role in our lives, as well as providing building materials such as timber and pure wood. They also provide a hub for birds and animal species and act as a water catchment helping to prevent soil erosion. Eburu forest borders Lake Naivasha and the famous Mao escarpments. Eburu is a unique forest found in the midst of a jungle of towns and flower farms. The Maasai who inhabited this forest many years ago named it Oldonyo Opuru, the hill of steam. The earth is still active under these old volcanoes. Many rare and endangered animals occupy this forest. Some are yet to be discovered. The mighty forest buffalo, the rare bongo. The forest has many medicinal plants used by the locals. This variety of plants can be quite overwhelming. But this forest is also important for people. More than 10,000 people rely on this forest in one way or another for water harvesting, firewood collection, grazing animals, charcoal burning, traditional beehives, among others. This high demand of forest products portray a huge threat to Eburu forest. With the enormous increasing population pressure of the modern world near Naivasha and the surrounding towns, there is a high demand to satisfy human needs. This has led to a high demand for the forest and its produce, causing more strain on Eburu forest. The communities living around Eburu have encroached the forest and view the forest as a source of firewood, water harvesting, charcoal burning, timber logging, and a sustainable hunting of wild game. This destruction of the forest is unsustainable and has led to the reduced rainfall in the area, soil erosion, loss of indigenous trees, and the disappearing of the rare bongo and the black and white colobus monkey, among other species. Forest fires have become common due to illegal burning of charcoal. Motitori. The lack of understanding and awareness of the forest and its environmental benefits has resulted to the destruction of this forest. Nanjikari <laughs> with the recent enactment of the New Forest Act, there is hope in solving the problem Eburu Forest is facing. The New Forest Act calls for participatory forest management. This new concept was introduced to involve the communities living adjacent to the forest to participate in the management of the forest and sustainable use of forest products. 
Participatory forest management has not been successful in Eburu forest as opposed to other forests in Kenya. The community have yet to understand the environmental benefits of forests and how they can be involved in the management of forests through participatory forest management. Um, the, for, the new Forest Act is working in some areas so well. This is a place where the community or the people are the place, are the grassroots are given the management of a particular forest. And for example, in our area where we have this Eburu forest, uh, this hasn't gotten into practice as we and Lake Naivasha Nature Club would like to see it, uh, I mean, working. This is because the forest, the forest management is still holding to this. But the Forest Act is really doing well. For example, in, in Mount Kenya in Abadeas, is really working so well. We are looking forward maybe in a Buru forest. The, the I mean, the forest management will come to us as the stakeholders and give us our chance to manage a Buru forest. Why has participatory forest management not taken effect in Eburu? The forest participatory management, the education or maybe the knowledge in relation to the same have not trickled down effectively. Though it started a good number of years on a Eburu forest management, uh, that is Eburu forest participatory management, management plan, and uh, this one was like sponsored by Kenya Forest Working Group. And uh, since that time, it have taken time before it is, we, we are told that it's not signed and therefore it have taken time. And uh, let me say that uh, the issue or the things that have been addressed in the same are not quite conversant. We can't say it is conversant to the community well. Maybe very few, I being one, who are actually able to understand what is all about in the forest participatory management. Otherwise, it is so friendly, but uh, the community still are not uh, uh, aware on uh, the same, what is actually entailed in the same, that is forest participatory management. Um, depending, like uh, our, in our Kasarani, most of people living here are workers working in flower farms, we still have some other people who are not working. And all what they are doing is charcoal burning in Eburu forest, earning their life from that. It's very hard to convince these people to conserve Eburu forest. Why? It's because they need to live, they need to eat, they have children to look after. And so we have a problem with them. Though some people, so, so many of them will understand, yes, we need to conserve Eburu forest, but what do we do for our living? For example, charcoal burners. You find them in the forest, you talk with them, tell them the, I mean, the, the goodness or the benefit of a Buru forest. They will not understand you. Mainly is because there is no other alternative. They don't have any other, any other way of living apart from charcoal burning. 